right, with the upcoming premiere of uh, Episode 9, plus the upcoming release of OS, Prophy OS 3, I've put together a bunch of styles for the library um, for cross cards, because I'm obviously getting ready for the premiere. Um, so uh, I've got a few variations on this. I do have a specific style for Kylo Ren that I use. Um, that's my personal preference one. That's up on the library. Um, but while playing with that, I came up with some variations, you know, so I'm just offering that out. Um, so this one, the big variation on this is that this starts out as a stable blade. And then with OS3, there's a swing speed function. I'm calling it responsive blade on my styles. Um, and what it is, is based on the movement of the blade, it actually changes the effects in color. So this one starts out stable, and then as you move it, it becomes unstable. And it's based on the speed that you're moving it. So if I move it a little bit, we get a little bit of stability in there. But if you move it quickly, it'll become an unstable blade. So it's responsive to the speed that you're moving it at. Um, and then in addition with OS3, there's a number of transitions. So um, on ignition, there was that power-up effect. We do have that in the fork. It's just done differently in OS3. Um, and then on retraction, there'll be a cooldown effect. So that was the cooldown, power up, and then now there's also transitions on lockup, drag, and stab. Um, so on lockup, there's going to be a quick flash of the blade. There'll be the localized lockup with the animation, and then there'll be actually a reestablishing of the blade after. So there's a flash, localized lockup, and reestablish. And then on drag, you'll get a flash of the tip, you'll get the effect, and then you'll get a fade out. And then in OS3, there's also now a stab effect, and we've got an animation on the stab, so there'll be a wipe in, and then a fade out on that, and it's a, a thrust and clash for that. So there's the wipe in, and then the fade out. Um, so that's now, uh, this is what I'm calling stable to unstable. So there's an unstable stable version, and then there's also the Kylo Ren version, um, but you can check those out on the library. Um, this won't have color change built in, but it will use the default color change. Um, which is a color wheel. So on OS3, there's a color wheel which will apply to any style that doesn't have color change defined. Um, so if you happen to like the stable to unstable look, I've only got red built. I'll build out other ones as I get time. Um, but if you wanted to use this one and change the color on it, you can using the color wheel. So with the color wheel, you enter the menu, and then just by rotating your hilt, it'll go through all the possible colors. So you can really fine-tune it. If you turn slowly, if you turn quickly, obviously it'll go through the colors faster. And it'll go all the way back around until I get back to my original color. So you can play around with that. And if you get to a color you like, you can lock it in. So that's available. That's default to OS3 now is that color wheel effect. So any styles you put in there, you can actually use color change by default without having to program it into the style. Um, some of my styles do have color change predefined um, for specific purposes. Um, but this one didn't. Um, so hope you enjoy.